But here we go. Bout number seven is going to be getting underway with the introduction of our fighters. As you can see, we've got Cody Williams versus Jared Lunsford. Stewart is uh, greasing up Cody. And now Cody's entering the ring all the way from Sydney, Montana. He's ready to go, Mark. Looks like we have a new ref. No, Dave Evans once again from Great Falls. I wonder if those are his daughters. You know, I think so. They think, might uh, be. What a great thing. What an exciting thing to have your daughters walk you out, too. That's fun. Well, let's see what kind of fight we have. That's uh, definitely, uh, Jared is definitely the uh, local favorite once again, fighting out of Anaconda. I know there's a lot of Anaconda people here tonight. Yeah, and Anaconda's been showing their fighters a lot of love, you know. You can definitely hear it when they come out. Yeah, and they're good fighters, these Anaconda guys. Well, we're gonna have a good fight, I think. You know a little bit about Cody, and I know a little bit about Jared, so we'll see if the uh, the two styles will match up here. Now, once again, did Cody drop weight to get to this weight division? Well, I think so. Yeah. Um, you know, Cody, you know, he's just a fight around and around. You know, he doesn't care what weight, you know, he'll, he'll cut weight and he'll make it. Yeah. I know Cody's a pretty dominant force on the ground, so we'll see. We'll see how that affects the fight. Should be interesting. Let's see how these two fighters uh, pan out and once again ladies and gentlemen bout number seven we got 13 fights tonight at the Butte Civic Center they've all been so far pretty darn exciting uh, one has gone the distance the rest have been ending into the first or second round we've had uh, six fights already ladies and gentlemen I hope you've been enjoying them I'm here with Mark Johnson I'm Scott Moranti But Dennis uh, gave him some final instructions there. All the way from Sydney, Montana.
A lot of Anaconda fans. Yeah, the a lot tonight. of Anaconda fans. They're uh, they're definitely showing the love, like you said. Uh, looks like we got both men here ready to fight too. We're gonna be in the center here for uh, final instructions by uh, Dave Evans. He's cinching up the gate there, the door. It's always a good idea for the referees to check the doors. All right, touching gloves. It's. Uh, looks like they're gonna touch once more yep, coming one out. One more time, good sportsmanship. All right, here All right. we go, bout number seven. Cody Williams in the white trunks. Jared Lunsford in the black. Nice leg kick. Cody going for that takedown very soon. Good takedown, Jar Jared's got a, uh, a guillotine there. Pretty good guillotine going, but he doesn't have a lot of leverage with his legs, but boy, he's got some opportunity to make it pretty uncomfortable. Let's see if Cody can uh, break out of here. Oh, it looks like he let it go. Now, half guard can always be a, a defensive or offensive position. And uh, there's a lot of opportunities for sweeps and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So Cody will probably be looking to stay on top and punch. And, and uh, Jared's going to be looking for maybe a sweep. or a Cody's attacking his arm a little bit, it looks yeah. like. Oh, uh, this... Cody's very dangerous on the ground with his submissions. So Jared has to be careful he doesn't put his arms anywhere they shouldn't be, or Cody will take advantage of it. Yep, exactly, exactly. But Jared looks like he's keeping extremely tight, too. Kind of a stalemate position a little bit right now, not a lot now. Let you get out. He needs to looks keep like, moving yeah, right here. Like Jared tried to do something there and got caught uh, with Cody on his back. That's a pretty big guy to have on your back. One thing Jared could do with how uh, high Cody is, he could try going out the back here. Yeah, maybe shaking him off. And they're not real sweaty yet, but he could still uh, ha he still has the opportunity to maybe shuck a little bit and try to break that that hook that's Cody's working so well. But not a lot of fighting right now, just kind of manipulating positions. Cody's looks like he's trying to look for that rear naked. Jay yeah. looks like he's defending it pretty well, yeah, you know, probably he, feels it coming. He's defending, but he is in a, in a tough situation and he needs to start thinking about moving his hips a little bit and trying to s straighten his legs and get his knee underneath the... So he does not want Cody getting comfortable there, you no. know. Now that was a nice like he, reversal, very nice. All right. Now they've just reversed. Now it looks like Cody's on the bottom with the half guard and uh, Jared's on the top now, so. Oh, oh passing a full mount. mount, very clean. Throwing down some punches there. Oh, Cody though, caught it, realized <laughs> it, did a nice sweep there. These guys are doing some fun stuff on the ground. They're both working really hard, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't look like it, but they're working hard. Let this is you. this is chess right here. Yeah, this is chess. Uh, Looks like someone got uh, cut open there. Looks like some blood. Yeah, somebody's bleeding a little bit. Looks like it might be Cody. Yeah, this is uh, MMA chess 101, really. Jared doing very well throwing strikes off his back, though. Setting up oh. an arm bar here. Let's see if it's deep. I think uh, Cody's hurt a little bit. Taking some punches as well. But he fought that go arm, the arm, arm bar. really good. Going for it once again. He needs to roll into him a little bit, but boy, it's a, it's a good reversal he just Cody got Cody got out of it. But he's out of it a little bit. I think he's done. He's hurt. Yeah, he's hurt. Something's not right. Oh! Uh, that's a fight right there. Let's give Cody a big round of applause. Let's see what happened here, Mark. The crowd's really into it. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. I wonder if I maybe that arm bar um, did a little bit more damage. Maybe, possibly. He was doing well here. Whipped around. He looks tired maybe a little bit, but he's still fighting This hard. was I a mean, very good back and forth battle on the ground yeah, here. Got a little bit of cutting off a little blood to the neck, but now this is an interesting exchange. Cody ended up on top. I don't see any blood yet, right there. Was that an elbow? Or was that a punch? It looked like a looked like an elbow, but I think it was a punch. Looked like a right punch by Jared on the bottom, and it got Cody bleeding. And it might have stunned Looks him. Looks like we get another replay here. See if Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
He's just kind of sitting there, but he is bleeding right now, I think. Interesting, interesting end of the fight. Well, uh, Looks like uh, everyone's checking on Cody. Looks like he's doing all right. Everyone's helping him up. Whatever it was, it definitely was a stunning or some kind of a deflective blow that would would make him stop the fight. Well, fighters giving their respect to each other. You know, that's what I love oh, about yeah, this sport. Oh, yeah, that's what's you know? great about this sport. He's looking at his arm. Looking at his arm, you know, it's like uh, feels a lot of pain there. Well, it was a great fight for both guys. Jared just uh, happened to get that armbar, catch that armbar.